Up to the fight, I actually, it really looked like uh, Dolce was going to win. He just seemed to have, he just seemed to have the right head space and everything. And he seemed yeah. very focused, whereas the other guy, he was just kind of, you know, he's, I don't know what to, <laughs> yeah. he's a little bit, um, He's got head space already. Yeah, he's, he's no, he ain't short on the head space. Yeah. Well, um, but, you know, I mean, he, once again, I mean, he, man, but he was a wrestler, and he, he started out the, I mean, it was a strong wrestler. Yeah. And he started out the fight, and, and he was kind of letting things get out of hand a bit, and then his wrestling, you know, kicked in, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know, he, he ended up pulling it out. So it was uh, pretty good. Yeah, both two very entertaining fights, and uh, yeah, it's definitely if you enjoy watching mixed martial arts or you know boxing, any any of those type of combat sports, uh, you know it's certainly something worth checking out. Yeah, and but I mean not only that, but it's it's still got the you know you know it's still got the old it's kind of fun to see into people's lives kind of thing, you know the. Yeah, I mean, there are a bunch of guys, young guys, living together in a, in a house, and uh, you know, you get you get a bunch of guys together like that in one place, and especially a bunch of crazy young fighters. You know, all kinds of crazy things can happen, right? I mean, all right, let's take a look at the the trailer. Are you ready? I finally got it. Ah, there Sorry we go. That. There. Next time you'll see it before we start talking about it. <laughs> this time we're going to see it at the end. Yeah, <laughs> it's a big save, the big surprise for last. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so they talked about that, the 30 fighters. And that was the big guy that beat Mike Dolce there, Mike Dolce there. That's right, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a really, I mean, I'm enjoying it. I think it's great. Um, interesting, I saw a behind the scenes clip of, uh, of um, Rampage, and he's not too pleased. <laughs> with the way yeah. things are going yeah. so far, he was uh, it, there was a, it was a bit of an outtake that I saw from one of the shows, and he he was during a training session. Some of the guys were fooling around a little bit. And uh, he, he got you mad. know he got a little bit upset I would, about I wouldn't it. Want to make him mad? No, you don't want to make him <laughs> mad. I mean, they call him Rampage for a reason. Yeah. I mean, the guy howls before he comes out to fight, you know, I mean, he, well, you we'll, know, see, he, we'll see what happens badass. throughout it, but I, I mean, it's going to be an exciting, there's going to be so much stuff going on. Yeah. That, uh, I'm yeah. really looking forward to it. Definitely. Let's move on yeah. to our next topic, Ultimate Fighter, the UFC, UFC 83. 83. Here's a clip. Would you like to watch the clip, Keith? I'd love All right, to. Right, let's watch this clip. <laughs> the best fighter in the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know pretty much. I mean the guy is unbelievable. He's he I've seen him fight in different organizations and you know he's he's very you know I mean he's professional to the nth degree and when he fights he's focused yeah. and uh, the two were actually matched up against each other and they fought for the title, and Matt Serra won the first time around. After the uh, a UFC reality series, after he won the reality, the UFC, the Ultimate Fighter reality series. That's right. That was the big reward, was he got to go up against the champ. He got to go up against the champ, and he won the belt. Um, Which nobody saw coming, it was kind of the... Yeah, it was a shocker. I mean, George St. Pierre was favored to win that fight, and uh, Matt Serra came in, and and he took it, and I mean, he, you know, he fought well. I mean, it's, you know, any, I mean, kudos to anybody who steps in that ring. Yeah. I mean, oh, they're, God, they're yeah. amazing athletes, all of them, right? Yeah. Um, however, uh, you know, George St. Pierre, he, 
he had his heart set on that belt, and <laughs> yeah, he, was you know, he was stop him. He you know, I didn't, gonna, I didn't watch the fight again, but I don't remember him getting hit in that fight, George St. Pierre. You don't, Dan. I don't think he got hit, did he? Yeah, he did. Oh, did he? Oh, he okay. got from Matt. He, or, yeah, he Matt Sarah caught him, and that's ba that's when it that's when it came apart for him because yeah. Matt Sarah got him with a, a good shot and. And he just, he didn't recover from it in time, and he just, mm -hmm. you know, he just grounded and pound uh, and kept at yeah, him, and yeah. they stopped the fight. Great, eh? great fight. So, I mean, it was a good fight, and I mean, that's what can happen. I mean, you can, I mean, these guys train like mad, and I mean, you can go in there and be totally prepared, and, you know, like you mentioned earlier, you know, a lucky punch, yeah. one person catches the other person, and, you know, so it can really go either way, but... It's. I find it's. A, it just all in all, it's a very entertaining sport, and um, yeah. I. It's. I don't watch. There aren't many sports that I watch. On. Who else did we see? Oh, um, uh, Rich Franklin versus. Rich Franklin versus. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank on this one. He, he, he did was fight. Canadian. Yeah. Yeah, no, Travis Luter. Travis Luter, yeah. Man, yeah. I was very disappointed in that fight, actually. Uh, Travis Luter, I think, had something... Wrong with him? No, no, no. I, I, he had something to prove, I think, in this fight, being that um, he was... He had a fight in the Ultimate Fighter ser comeback series, I believe, oh, okay. and he yeah. didn't make weight yeah. for the fight. Right, that's and, right. Yeah. Uh, it was a pretty big disappointment for a lot of people, and it's a lot of fighters, you know, when their when their opponent doesn't make weight, they you know, they take it personal. I mean yeah. they they put a lot into training, you know, they take it seriously and you know, these guys are professionals and they should be able to cut weight and yeah. in time they they have enough time to do it and so you know, Travis Luter was supposed to in my in my eyes anyway, you know, he could have redeemed or he should have redeemed himself. In this particular, well, he tried, but uh, yeah, but Rich he, Franklin had something to say. Yeah, but right? he, I mean, he, I mean, let's face it. I mean, the guy gasped like early, and I mean, yeah. he's been fighting for a long time. I mean, yeah. he's not, uh, you know, he's not something that he's not a fighter that's new or anything. And it's, I mean, his conditioning was poor, very yeah. poor. I mean, yeah. he lost that fight because he gasped. Yeah. I mean, he was he was actually doing very well at the beginning of the fight. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. But well, he just started to lose it. I mean, Rich Franklin's a fantastic fighter. But yeah, I, not to take any way, anything uh, away from Rich Franklin. The guy's an amazing <laughs> fighter. The shame um, of the century. Sorry? There was the shame of the century as well. Yeah, the shame of the century, which I've been dying to talk about. <laughs> I've been itching to talk about this. <laughs> or about five minutes. Yeah, no. man. <laughs> Surrey BC's son. Uh, you know, I've even forgotten his name. Caleb, so we, Caleb I ate his. You know, going back to, he was another uh, another contestant in one of the earlier Ultimate Fighter series, and to be honest, I didn't care for him then. Right. I, he just happened to be one of those fighters. He was injured during the show, which, fair enough, but I mean, he was whining about it, and he just, I mean, a lot of these guys, they fight with like some pretty major injuries. I mean, I've I've heard fighters like, you know, after they've won a fight, or you know, they've come out and admitted that they had a broken, yeah. you know, bone yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. these guys fight, yeah. and I mean, if you if that's what you choose to do, I mean, you know, you'd be professional about it. And he was like that in the Ultimate Fighter, and I was very disappointed. And uh, I, I, you know, I watched him as he came up through the UFC, and I'll admit he was in a couple of fights that I thought were really exciting. This time around, he fought Nate Quarry, also uh, from another Ultimate Fighter, Ultimate season, Fighter one. season one, and uh, yeah. it wasn't much of a fight actually. For some reason, and I not, I still don't really know what gave in that, but he just basically ran away from Nate Quarry. He didn't. Uh, yeah, he did. He, he literally like, ran away. Yeah, he was like backpedaling. He did not want to get hit. There, it was. It, it he was, wasn't even. It was too bad. I mean, it, it was a real dis. I don't think the fans were on his on his side at the beginning of the fight because he's Canadian. Yeah. The end of the fight. Yeah, everything. Were him. That's right. He had and everything it, going for him. You know, if you go you in know. there and get your ass knocked out, people are still going to cheer for you, right? You went in there that's, and you fought your that's ass. That's the out. difference. You got knocked out while that happens. There's only right. there's going to be a winner and loser of every fight. That's right. 
unfortunately, he didn't. He didn't move. He didn't put up the fight. Either. I don't know what he was doing. I, I still don't understand why. He, he got the lowest score ever in the UFC. It was like yeah. twenty four thirty or something. Yeah, that's right. It was. It's too bad because I, you know, I kind of like Caleb, and maybe 